to the city center. Georgia Southern with a two-point lead, 24 There's the star of this game so far. Angie Justine leads all scores with 12 points, five of eight from the field. And she is following up her performance from last Thursday. You see on the score, 23 points, 10 rebounds in 35 minutes. Just a fantastic game for Just Jean in her first conference game of her career. Not only that, but to play the Troy Trojans, the defending Sun Belt champions, picked to repeat that championship in the preseason and put up 23 points. It's a spectacular performance from the freshman from Quebec. And she is adding on to that today. Williams said that the freshman got a lot of great Sun Belt experience in that 91 to 80 loss against Troy last week. As Love Hill drives in, having trouble with Malinka. And Johnson, offensive foul. A turnover to start this quarter. Here's a plus the one that drew it, and she's only played two minutes of this game, picked up an early foul. One the leading score for Coastal Carolina. We haven't talked about her really at all. 18.3 points per game. Take it away. Johnson draws the foul on New South. Foul and piece for either team in the first 35 seconds of this second quarter. One coming off an 18-point game against Troy. Troy game on Thursday, 47 to 44 at halftime, and gave up the lead in the second half. Johnson hits the free throw line. The senior rattles it in. 53 percent free throw shooter. Now play against Arkansas State, so she's making her conference debut with a Georgia Southern uniform after transferring from Wichita State. against Troy. Coastal extends a streak they want to stop. 15 games, Sunbelt losing streak as Freeman has trouble with it. Burns moves in. Picks it back for Johnson a triple. Too short. And just Jean picks it up. Who else? Cross court, Tyra Brown. Brown the scoop shot. Up and in. Brown has seen her playing time decrease the past two games. Only played five minutes against Troy. After starting a good amount of the non-conference games, there's a turnover. Brown's only played 15 minutes in her past two games and comes up with the points there after a good pass from Just G. have not won a Sun Belt game since February 29, 2020 against Louisiana in their historic 25-win season where Jada Williams was named Sun Belt Coach of the Year. And there's another turnover on Coastal now. Inbound pass by Blunt to Hockey. One comes off see Janae Camp for the first time since the first minute of the first quarter. Inbound pass for the Eagles up by two. Burns has it straight away. Behind the back dribble. Throws up a shot. Almost gets that one to go down. Draws a foul on Coastal. Goes against Ariel Patrell Palinka. That'll be her first. Shots with two fouls in the first minute and 15 seconds of the second quarter. at the free throw line now. Georgia Southern has a team 7 of 10 from the charity stripe. Burns comes into today 8th in the Sun Belt in points per game. Her highlight is her three-point shooting. Conference at 37%. Both camp sisters on the floor now, so it's been interesting to see what 
Coach Williams has done with her big players, rotating them around after some early fouls. So one, Janine Camp, Janine Camp, and Savannah Deuce. That's taken away. Another coastal turnover. Thomas kicks it back out. Johnson. Now a two-pointer from the free throw line is missed. Tipped by Janine into the hands of Janine. Now on Georgia Southern. That's their second. Highly physical matchup, and Coastal has turned the ball over 12 times to Georgia Southern, six. Eagles have turned those 12 turnovers into 14 points. That's been a theme of this Coastal season so far. Shots average 18 turnovers a game in this Georgia Southern team. And that's another one to travel by Freeman. The Eagles average 13.8 steals per game. That leads the Sun Belt and is second in all of NCAA Division I. Showing off that stingy defense in this first half. Causing 13 coastal turnovers. They had 31 against Troy, their most turnovers since 2012 against the College of Charleston. Constance Thomas passes over. Not too short by Ward. Janae Camp gets it out of there. Tyra Brown all the way across. It'll be just G. Doesn't get the friendly roll. Brought down by Thomas. Georgia Southern up by three points. Ward through the Camp Sisters and gets it to go. Taryn Ward has five points, and Georgia Southern goes up by five. Shotty Bears have turned the ball over three times in the last minute and a half. Tyra Brown straight away, three pointer open look. Brown, a 39% three point shooter, second on this team behind just Jean. Comes up empty on that shot. James comes into this game for Georgia Southern, as well as their leading scorer, Simone James, who has 10. Friends with Shauna Clear head coach Jada Williams. Now we're in her third season as the head coach for the Eagles. She's the Columbus State head coach for three years and made two Division II championship appearances. Holmes right side up top, it's Thomas. Ordered by Bugs. Shot clock down to eight. One of the longer possessions for Georgia Southern. Offensive rebound. It's Camp taking it away. Best shot blockers in the country. 26 on the season. Janae Camp with it now for Bugs. Just Jean. Holds up, elbow, drops in. Just Jean with 14 first half points. And she continues to impress. Thomas around Bugs. Swings it around. Right hand too strong by Gibson. Janine Camp pulls down the rebound. Just Jean quickly down the floor. Pass back out. Brown makes the three. Now Camp through the middle. Janae Camp on a historic night for number 20. Makes this a one point Georgia Southern lead. Janae Camp has missed just one game in five years. And a long three taken and swished on the left side by Deja Holmes. Silences the HTC Center crowd. And the shots have to reset down by four again. Take it away. James down the floor, Just Jean right behind her. Good poke, and it goes out of bounds. Just Jean shows off the defense. A good play from behind, and it'll be an inbound pass for Georgia Southern. Jada Williams in her ninth 
the season with Coastal Carolina. Started off this year 8 0, the best start in program history before falling to St. Mary's in mid December. Coastal in their zone defense. James for a tray. Just Jean right there to bring down the rebound. She has been everywhere so far in her 15 minutes play. Has not left the floor. And a foul call to the way from the ball. So we go against Eden Johnson. Tight game. 4.48 left in the first half. Georgia Southern up by four. 